constitutional amendment law published in official gazette, referendum campaign officially launches. According to the new law, the number of parliamentarians will be increased from 550 to 600, and the age of candidacy is lowered from 25 to 18. With regards to elections, Turkish Grand National Assembly and the presidential elections will be held every five years on the same day. The elected president will maintain party political affiliation. Presidential aides and ministers will be appointed and unseated by the president. The establishment and abolition of ministries, appointment of positions and authorities, the organization structure and the establishment of the central and provincial organizations shall be held with presidential decree. The referendum will be held on April 16. A no vote will cause Turkey to be in chaos, said Bahçeli. Standing shoulder to shoulder with AKP on the presidential system, Nationalist Movement Party MHP leader Devlet Bahçeli responded to the question, what happens if polls say no at the referendum, with Turkey will be in chaos. Republican People's Party CHP leader Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu responded to Bahçeli's remarks. He said, if people vote no, Port of Izmir also transferred to new sovereign wealth fund. Following Turkey's most strategic institutions, the country's most strategic port, Port of Izmir in Alsanjak, is also transferred to Sovereign Wealth Fund, with authority to lease and sell. Officials state the Port of Izmir will be managed by Turkish State Railways TCDD until the sale. The port is planned to be privatized in the next 49 years. Turkey's first woman general candidate released after taken under custody for confession statements in July 15 betrayal. Following July 15 coup attempt, Turkish Chief of General Staff Hulusi Akar's secretariat, Turkish Air Force Staff Lieutenant Colonel Bilyehan Bülbül and her husband, Turkish Air Force Staff Lieutenant Colonel Naid Bülbül, were among 11 soldiers referred to court for arrest warrants. The Bülbül couple and one other suspect was released under judicial control upon questioning by judges. The couple denied all charges. Turkish Chief of General Staff Hulusi Akar, along with the Army, Navy and Air Force commanders, paid a surprise visit to the disputed Kardak islets in the Aegean Sea on January 29. Lieutenant Colonel Bigehan Bubil was among the names accompanying the commanders and was detained upon her return to Ankara. Two ISIS militants planning group attacks in Europe were caught in Adana. Investigations revealed two ISIS militants of Danish and Swedish nationality arrested in Turkey's southern province of Adana had entered Turkey with false identification and were prepared to carry out group attacks in Europe. Police found fake refugee identities on the suspects upon detention. The suspects were identified as Mohamed Laban, a Danish citizen of Lebanese origin, and Mohamed Tafik Salih, a Swedish citizen of Iraqi origin. The suspects had crossed from Turkey to Syria and joined ISIS in 2000. 14 police reported. The two suspects received weapons and explosives training in Syria for the past three months. Officials detected suspects had been trained for a large bloody attack in Europe and had entered Turkey with fake refugee identities for this reason. Operations launched against PKK's financial resources in Istanbul. Anti-terrorism units raided terrorist organization PKK's financial resources in Istanbul's Küçükçekmece district. Multiple addresses are targeted as part of the counter-terrorism operation. Court orders arrest of Peru's former president in corruption case. A Peruvian court has issued an arrest warrant for former President Alejandro Toledo on suspicion of corruption. The court sentenced the ex-president to 18 months of imprisonment. Ex-president Toledo is accused of receiving $20 million in bribes from Brazilian construction company in exchange for permission to build highways. Toledo served as president from 2001 to 2006. Currently living abroad, he has denied any wrongdoing. Yeah.